So on the left hand side you will have your logo then you will have the three menu swap token and pull from here anybody can search for any token and from here you can easily able to find that which network you are connected to in your metamask once you connect you will have your account address you can click here and you can easily able to find all the token which you have in your metamask okay so all the list of tokens that what's the balance and name of the token and the symbol you can simply close and you can see all the thing and from here you can easily able to swap the token from one another you can click here and you can do some advanced settings so you can set the tolerance you can set the timing you can set the deadline timing turn on advanced mode okay and from here you can easily able to pick the token which you want to swap so right now we have either if you click on this from here you can easily able to select whatever token you have okay so i go for this dog token i can click here and i have this stock and here the balance of the token will display if i click on this i can come here and i can go for the token which i want i want to go with the uniswap click on this and here i have it and i can click on this swap so it will happen so everything is dynamic will take one step at a time try to understand the every fundamental that what's going on so that's the overview of the template which we are about to build in the very first sections and after the first section we'll move to the second section where we're going to build the entire smart contract and write some code for the blockchain so let me take you to my visual code studio and let's start installing some packages and do some setup before we start creating this beautiful ui for our uniswap clone i hope you guys are excited if you are then hit that like button do subscribe to my channel do let me know that are you excited type yes and then we can start coding straight away <music> hello beautiful people here we are back in our visual code studio and now we're going to install a couple of powerful things which allow us to build our beautiful uniswap clone okay so i have created a folder and right now you can see i have nothing in this folder i have given the name to this folder is uniswap clone because that's what we're going to do so what we have to do is open up your terminal and now we have to simply clear the terminal first and now we're going to initialize our next app you can create with a TypeScript you can create with React but I will go with my next tab because that's my favorite. So I'll tap next create and hit enter and this will create all the folder and file structure for my application. So this, this will take a little bit of time but I'm using the power of editing so it will happen very fast. So just wait it's happening and here you can see that we got our folder and file structure. Let's clear the terminal and now let's come on this section in the pages and now we have to some clear the stuff as you all know that before i start coding i need to have a clean environment okay so i don't need to have those packages those folder and file structure which i don't like which i'm not going to use it okay so first thing i will delete this api folder because i'm not going to use this one and come back to the index we're going to remove this entire code and we'll type rafce and i'm going to simply change the text to home and in between we're going to type home so this is our home page simply come here and go to this app.js and here we have to convert this normal function into a arrow function okay simply remove the copy this one remove this and take a, this block take a div inside that paste the code so that's the setup for the app.js and we're going to do a lot of setups okay so just follow along with me now come here in the style file and we don't need this style file simply delete this one and that looks good now come back to the packages and file and here you will find all the dependency and dev dependency which you are using in this project let's remove this packages simply copy open up your terminal and type npx uninstall and paste the name of the package hit enter and this will happen fast do the same thing for the other package as well simply copy the entire package and simply press arrow up so that will take you to the previous command and simply paste the name and hit enter and now we have clean environment so here we are using only those packages which we are and that looks pretty fine to me now let's come here and now we have to create the folder and file structure for our uniswap clone so let's create the first component folder and that we're going to have all the components of our entire application so let's come here create another folder this time called hero section and that we're going to create a jsx file simply type modules and come here and type rafce reacts functional base component that looks pretty good to me so we have one component now let's create another component in the same component folder and this one is called model now create a file model jsx and now we have to create the css file model.css 
So these are the two components we have. Let's create one more. This will say navbar. So navbar JSX RAFCE. And now we have to create the CSS file for this module.css. Three component. Now let's create the fourth one. Search token. We have to create the JSX RAFCE. And now we have to create the CSS file module.css. So right now we have four folders. We need a couple of more. So we'll come here and we have to create this toggle. JSX and we have to create the CSS file for that as well. So module.css. So let's come here. Let's create one more, which is a token list. So the token list which we are showing that how many token user has. That's what we're going to build in this component. So let's create the JSX for this. And we have to create the CSS file for this as well module.css so for the time being these are the folder and file structure we have all and now we have to create the index file in which we're going to import the entire component that's the logic we are following out in the entire previous project so let's type index.js and simply press ctrl w to close all the open files and now we have to import all these files in the index so things are looking good to me now let's quickly import so we have to import the hero section and that's coming from the hero hero section import the model coming from the same directory import the navbar now we have to import the search token we have to import the toggle button and now the final one is the token list and coming from the same directory and now we're going to export the entire component which we have imported one by one looks good let's come down type export and we'll go say hero section model navbar search token toggle and token list this is how we are exporting all the component from this single file and we can use it wherever we want in our entire application so simply close this one and come here and things looking good to me now let's come back to the pages and here and come back to the styles delete this one because we are not using slint in our project so it's better to remove this full file let's come back to the config file right now we don't need to do anything here we we're definitely going to add something here when we'll deal with the blockchain okay so no changes we have to do come back here so so far things are looking good to me come back to the global css and here we have to define the font family and the colors which we are using in this project so for that what i want come back here in the google fonts and i'm using this project and i have already selected couple of fonts which i am using in this and this all you will get in a starter file don't need to worry and here i have pre-selected the entire font file so i'm using 100 200 400 500 700 till the way to 900 now click on this robot here you will find that what i'm using and you can simply scroll and you can see i'm using all these fonts sizes and simply come here go to this media query simply grab this code media query copy and come back to the uh, code editor come back and simply paste on top come and paste on top so this these are the font which we are using in this project and it's look good to me now we can simply remove this font family and we can simply copy from here because we are using roboto so we have our font family and now we have to import the colors which we are using in this project so in the last video yesterday i have uploaded a video on the free resources on the figma community okay so from there i'm going to pick the design concept the color palette and that's what i'm going to use in this project so i have opened the figma community the project which i'm using and here they have the colors and these are the colors i'm going to use in this project so and if you want to know that how you have to do the editing how you have to extract the files then you can must watch the last video and that i have explained everything when i was talking about the free resources so this looks good click on this and here from here left hand side you can easily able to navigate on the text the colors which you want and that's what i'm going to use it simply come here so i have already completed this project and this is the original project so i'm simply going to copy the entire background color color and the font family from here don't need to worry you guys will get this entire 
thing in the starter file so simply copy this one and i'll come back to the the project here and i'm going to simply paste here remove this and paste here so we are done with the color and the font family so that's the only setup we have to do here it's look pretty good to me no problem we have simply closed this one and now we can start building so let's come up and let's try to run the start the application and see how it looks on the browser because we have done the folder and file structure we have set our colors and the text color so npm run dev click on this open up in your browser and in my case i have 3001 in your case you might it might be 3000 because i have other projects running in the same port so it's look good to me and here finally it's looking fine we have our background color we have our white text so far things are looking good to us and we are ready to start bring the terminal down now come back to the figma community and we need this icon remember that this is the icon this is the logo we are using in our application so we're going to take that icon actually our logo so let me zoom out and let me show you how you can extract simply click on this and you can easily able to navigate to that icon okay so i can click on this inside that i have this icon you can see i can easily able to select and this is the complete icon and from here i can easily able to export the icon so i can have a preview so this is how the icon would look like and from here i can easily able to export but i have already exported all the icons and the images which i'm using in this project so i'm going to simply import the folder so this is the original project which we have already completed and i can simply come here and i'm going to simply drag and drop the folder so let's bring that file from here i can simply able to drag and drop this asset folder and that we have all the images simply copy the folder and if i open that you will find all the images which we have in this so arrow up we have arrow we have and you can see that tiny arrow and we have the cross we have the ether ether logo home icon and lock icon we have search and swap so this is our logo and i have imported all the images in this index.js don't need to worry i will provide this folder in the starter file so you will have the images and all the setup so here in this index file i have imported all the images one by one and i'm making a default export so that's the only thing i'm doing here and this is the default export so simply close down so we have our images we have our folder and file structure we have our coloring so everything is done now we can start working on the application because we should always start with setting the entire environment and after that we can start building